One of the greatest challenges to teaching distance science courses is adding hands-on laboratory activities. Lab activities usually are designed to demonstrate concepts, provide students with the opportunity to gather their own data, or to teach lab skills. While lab skills are difficult to teach virtually or even in a lab classroom setting, demonstration and data collection can be performed in a distance learning environment through the creative use of technology. Flash labs allow students to walk through the labs themselves, actively doing most of the steps. The undergraduate and graduate level soil chemistry course at Auburn University was designed to provide a hands-on opportunity for students to generate their own data. The distance version of the course also allows students to perform many of the same tasks and obtain their own numbers from the exercise to be used in calculations and data interpretation. For example, there are many exercises of soil analytical methods which are used to compare different soils or various treatments and not designed to record an observation. Students are quizzed between steps to make sure that they are aware of what to do next. All steps are recorded in an electronic lab notebook so students can go back and see what they have done. Answers to quizzes are recorded and sent to the instructor. The advantages of the flash simulation include hands-on activity, visualization of the lab apparatus, in-lab quizzes regarding procedure, computer-generated lab notebook that records results of each step of the lab, data and quiz results are submitted to the instructor, students use data for generation of a traditional lab report. Data that is generated randomly within a specific tolerance to prevent dishonesty, Short lab preparation quizzes ensure students have read through the instructions. Purposeful interaction allows for online labs to be more than just demonstrations. In order to provide a lab experience without a campus visit, we developed flash-based simulations and supplemented them with short video clips if demonstrations were necessary. For the soil chemistry lab, there are additional advantages to the virtual lab. Titrations are performed with a pH meter to help guide students to correct endpoints. This can be useful in cases such as colorblind students. The volume of the titrant that is added is displayed on the screen. Many of the brick and mortar labs require shared lab equipment or time consuming reactions and lab procedures such as filtration, the use of a centrifuge, or shared lab equipment. This often makes it impossible for students to perform the entire lab in one lab period since many of the labs are divided among students and data is combined at the end for analysis of different treatments. Although physical classes have the advantage of learning more laboratory technique, the trade-off is that many of the experiments must be divided among students to fit into the time constraints of the classroom. The final lab report will involve calculations and interpretations of the data. A student utilizing the virtual lab can perform all the experiments themselves in approximately the same time or less. Understanding the relationships between samples becomes less confusing and students spend more time engaged rather than waiting for the lab procedures. The Distant Soil Chemistry Lab provides nearly the exact same protocol and lab report generation experience as the brick and mortar lab. There are really only two differences. One is the virtual lab experience which contains shorter, quicker, and often repeated protocols rather than the longer live protocols. The other is the knowledge of the lab equipment gained from actually doing the lab. The question is then posed as to whether those lab skills are essential to the curriculum. For soil chemistry, the lab skills are indeed a perk in the physical classroom setting, but not an essential component. Students can then record their data from the notebook to use in their final lab report that will be submitted electronically. In the brick and mortar settings, the instructor's immediate feedback is limited due to the number of students being taught. Using technology allows for a one-on-one -on -one interaction that can provide immediate feedback for some of the common problems faced by students. 
Labs allow students to make mistakes. Distance versions have the advantage that the student can redo any portion of the lab at any time, while many of the brick and mortar labs are much slower in this regard and much more difficult to repeat in the event of a mistake. Physical labs may also require analysis to be performed by laboratory technicians. As a complete lecture and lab distance course, the soil chemistry class integrates the lab activities directly in sequence with the lecture. The course utilizes Blackboard, PowerPoint, video with voiceover, lab reports, flash presentation, and integrated self-quizzes to solidify learning objectives while still requiring the students to perform the traditional homework and lab reports. Students are requesting on-demand learning. Students now have the ability to move through the instructional material at their own pace rather than having to keep up with the fastest student or wait for the slowest student. The students of today in physical classroom settings are requesting a greater variety in course materials to better adapt to their learning styles. Now these virtual components can also be used to supplement brick and mortar classes, which have strengths and weaknesses that can either be enhanced or rectified if used in conjunction with supplemental material provided by technology. They can provide on-demand learning for students, while also allowing students to review concepts and or make up missing work without the need of any additional laboratory setup. Although the physical and technological classroom settings allow us to meet many of the demands of our students, it is an ever-evolving dilemma. We have taken a large step towards meeting these demands, but the journey is still long. As technology grows, simulations can be improved and may become truly virtual. The truth is, the limitations placed on what can be performed in the distance classroom are really only based on the limitations of our imagination.